Now listen, my boy, I'm not buying you another TV game. Oh, listen, I've got to go. I'm on TV. Chat later. Gets that right? You're not getting it. Okay, bye. I'm so sorry. That was my son. He's wanting another TV game. And they are just so expensive, and I'm tired of paying out money. Cell phones are actually amazing things, aren't they? They can be very, very painful, though. Like when you're trying to do a recording on TV and your son phones you, okay? So I like to switch it off. In fact, let me just do that right now. It's off, okay? How many times have you been to a restaurant? And you sit in a restaurant or you see two couples sitting opposite each other or sitting next to each other and instead of talking to each other and engaging, they're all on their cell phones, okay? And everybody's head is down. They all like doing one of these things. And you think, shame, man, yeah, they have lovely live company and they're just not spending time with each other. How sad is that? We are going to look in this segment at cell phone bills and how you get billed for your cell phone. Because obviously, folk, when I use this thing, I've got to pay for it. You folk at the moment, I think most of the time your parents are paying for it. But do you know how these bills work? and how much money they actually cost. Well, first things first, let's have a look here. There are many different cell phone packages, and there are many available. One may be interested in either a prepaid service or a contract. There are many contracts available, suitable for various needs. So we can get prepaid, or we can get a contract. Now, before we look at the whole billing system, we have to understand the difference between a prepaid and between a contract. Okay, so let's just pretend that we have someone who wants to buy a phone, okay? Let's pretend we've got somebody called James, and James decides he wants a telephone. So he goes off, to one of these companies and he says, I want a telephone. And the person says, well, do you want a prepaid or do you want a contract? Now, what's the difference? Well, the difference is a prepaid is I go in, I buy the telephone that I want, okay, or the cellular phone that I want, I pay for it, and now I have a phone, okay? I don't have to pay these people any money ever again. The only thing I've got to pay for is my airtime. How do I get my airtime? I go off to a shop and I say I want to buy airtime and they say how much and I say I want it for 50 rand. They take your 50 rand, they push a few numbers on the tool, voila, out comes a piece of paper. On that piece of paper it'll give you a pin and you go home, you take your cell phone, you type in that pin, wow, you got 50 rand worth of airtime on your cell phone, okay? I never have to pay the service provider any more money every month. I'm just paying for the amount of money or the amount of, uh, for the time period that I'm talking. A contract, I go to this company and I say, I want a contract, okay? And they're going to say, right, we will give you a contract. You're going to pay so much every single month for the next two years. And we'll give you a phone and you'll get certain amount of airtime free. If you want more airtime, you're going to have to pay for it, but we'll give you so much free. All right, so let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at our prepaid. Okay, so what actually happens is this. James goes off, he buys his phone, okay? Shows all his friends his phone. Check, I got a new phone. Give me your number, but no friends give him his number, okay? Because they're actually not his friend. He's got no friends, he just doesn't know it. And so he doesn't get any numbers. At the end of the month, he looks at his phone and he says, oh, I wish I could phone someone. I wish I could phone someone, but he's phoned no one. At the end of the month, that phone has cost him nothing. No airtime. He pays nothing to anybody because he hasn't even used the phone. If he had a contract, and let's pretend now the contract, they say, okay, buddy, every month you pay us 300 rand, but we will give you 100 rands worth of free airtime. 
Cool. Now, at the end of the month, James still hasn't phoned anyone. Right? Got no friends. Same poor guy. So there he is looking at his phone. In fact, here it is. He's looking at his phone. Hasn't pay, phoned anyone. But at the end of the month, he still gets a bill. And he still has to pay this 300 rand. Why? Because the agreement between him and his cell phone company was that every month he'll pay 300 rand. Whether he uses the phone or whether he doesn't use the phone. So straight away there are two different ways of being billed. One, you're being billed just for your airtime and that's a prepaid system and two, you're being billed via a contract where you've got to pay a certain amount every single month for a period of two years. The disadvantage of a prepaid is you've got to buy the phone up front. And that phone can cost you anything. I've just discovered the other day that you can buy a phone for around about 8,999 Rand, these Lani ones. In fact, some of them are more than 10,000 Rand. Aish! Terrible stuff. But if you go contract, they will say, you know what, we'll give you this phone for free. You don't even have to pay us for the phone, we'll give it to you for free. For two years you can use it, after two years you can keep it. Cool. Okay. But you've got to pay us the 300 Rand a month. And that's why contracts are so attractive. Because you can get this phenomenal phone here and not have to buy it for cash. All you've got to do is pay off a little bit every month. Okay. But there must be a catch to it somewhere. And the catch is that you've got to pay it for 24 months. So this company has got you hooked. You can't get out of it. If after three months you realize, hey, I don't want to go to this, con to this uh, company anymore. I've got found another company. Okay? You go to another company, this other company is going to say, hey, buddy, you still got to pay us. Hey? You, we had an agreement for 24 months. You're going to pay us. You're going to pay that 300 rand for 24 months, whether you use us or whether you don't. What we are going to look at is this whole contract. Okay? How do we get billed? for you having a contract. So let's have a look at a bill here. So study the mobile phone invoice below. So here it is. Okay. So first and foremost, we can see that this bill and we can see the service provider that um, we've assigned to. Over here, this bill belongs to someone called Mr. Finlay and he lives somewhere in Mardenville. Marnardville. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. Right, but he lives there, which is a good thing. It's always good to live somewhere. Right, if we look here, this service provider has an address. That's their address, and that's where your bill has come from. If you want to make an inquiry, that's the phone number you phone, or you can email them, or you can go to their website. So there's a whack of information given on this invoice. Just like there is when we uh, had to pay telecom. Just like there is when we've got to pay our water bill. Just like there is when we've got to pay our rates. We always get all this information. Even if we go off to a store and take, open up a clothing account. And in one of our previous segments we looked at that. And we saw how all the similar sort of details are given on all these invoices and all these accounts. Okay, so let's try and study this a little bit more. So we're going to look at some dates here. We're looking at the month of May 2012. We can see that the type of phone we've got is a BlackBerry. And we had BlackBerry internet service and it cost us 51 Rand 75. There was a discount of 51 Rand 75. So actually we didn't even pay the 51 Rand 75. There's a call line identity monthly fee of 7 Rand 2 cents. What's a call line identity? Okay, if you look at your phone and your phone rings and you see it says mother-in-law and you quickly say, I'm not answering this, just, I'm just not on, and you quickly push the red button, no, 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 I don't want to answer mother-in-law, okay. Or you got a new girlfriend or girls, you got a new boyfriend, okay, and suddenly it says John calling, you're like, I'll take this one. How's it? Okay, 
But that name that appears as a caller identity, and whether you know it or not, you actually pay for that. You pay so people know who you are. Cool. So, mm, you bet you didn't know that. Right, now, there's a promo service fee, 86 Rand, 84, and then there's a top-up subscription of 175 Rand. There's a little discount, uh, call CLI, which call a line identity monthly discount of 7 Rand, 2 cents. So this deal says, we will let people know who you are, and you know what? We're not even going to charge you for it. Okay, that was a special deal that they had when we took this phone out. So when we add all that up, we can see that all these figures come to 262 Rand and 28 cents. Sadly, we've got to give the government some money because we have a cell phone, and for that, we're giving them 36 Rand 72. Why? Because we're paying VAT at 14%. Remember, VAT has now changed. It's now 15%. I just want to stop us here because questions have arisen. And the one question that has arisen, and I've had this from so many students saying, Sir, we've always paid 14% VAT. As of the 1st of April 2018, it suddenly jumped to 15%. In our exam at the end of the year, do we have to use 14% or do we have to use 15%? Folk, I'd like to believe that the examiners would specify that. So they would say calculate the VAT at 15%. Right? If they don't, I presume you'd use 15% because at the time of you writing your matric exam, the VAT will be 15%. Got that? Okay. Right, so what else do we know? We know when we add the VAT, our whole bill comes to 299 Rand that we owe the service provider. The other thing is this, the last six billing periods, okay? So they're saying to us, right, currently you owe us 299 Rand. Last month your bill was 299 Rand. The month before your bill was 298. The month before your bill was 298. The month before your bill was 290, sorry, 299. The month before it was 398. Uh oh, we went a bit up there, okay, on the 11th month, 2011. But all the other months we played 299 Rand, okay. And then it says the average year of your bill over the last six months has been 315 Rand 50. That's the average amount that we have actually paid. Right, now, what sort of questions can they ask? I want to say this, we've looked at this in such detail that I'm sure whatever questions we find now, we would have already answered. Let's have a look at our questions. First question. What is Mr. Finlay's cell phone number? Okay, so let's have a look at that. His cell phone number, it's going to tell us right over here. Um, it would give it to us. Here, it would say your cell phone number is this amount. All right, we've had to delete it because we don't want the whole world to phone Mr. Finlay. Okay, you might be sitting there and saying, oh, that's his number, let's give him a call. Da, 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 da. Right, I love doing that in exam papers. All right, phone this number for a free TV. And then I put one of my students' numbers and then he gets all these phone calls. Great fun, okay. But we can't do that here, so we haven't put the number. But that's where we'd find his cell phone. Okay, right, next one. What kind of cell phone do you think Mr. Finlay owes? Explain your answer. We've already discussed this, eh? We said we presume he owes a BlackBerry. Why? Because it says here, BlackBerry Internet Service. BlackBerry Service Free Discount, okay? It's telling us it's a BlackBerry, people. That's what he actually has used, okay? Or the phone that he has. For which service did he receive a 100% refund? Explain your answer. Now, remember we said this, we said that, and if I get this a little bit bigger, okay, we said he was paying internet service fee and it cost 51 Rand 75, and then he got a discount of 51 75. In other words, he didn't pay for that. We also looked at the call line identity and said he owed 7 Rand 2 cents, and then he got it back. So he got a 100% discount on that as well. Okay, 100% discount means you're not paying anything 
for it. How nice that would be if we went into a shop and we bought something and the cashier says, Sir, it's your lucky day, you're getting a 100% discount. In other words, you're not paying anything for these goods. It's yours. It's free. Happy birthday. Okay. Sadly, that's never happened to me yet. Right, our next question. Um, what is the most expensive item in the list of transactions? What do you think this amount is for? Okay, so let's have a look at all those transactions quickly and let's try and figure out. So the most expensive, now what I'm going to do is I've written all over here, so I'm going to actually try and rub some of this out. Let's go quickly. Oh, oh great, now we can see the figures again. Okay, so what was the most expensive item? The most expensive item is this. 175 Rand 44. What is it for? It's for a 200 top up. In other words, you get an extra 200 free minutes. Well, they say it's free, but you're paying 175 Rand 44 for it. Okay, so although you're getting 200 minutes, you're only paying 175 44. What a bargain. Okay, right, our next one. Question says this. Um, oops, let's go next page. Right. Uh, how do we know that Mr. Finlay has been an MTN client service since at least November 2011? How do we know this, folk? We know it because when I looked at the bottom of the bill, what did I see? I saw they said in the 11th month, 2011, you paid an amount of 398 Rand. That's why I know I had the bill because I actually got an account for that month. Right, let's go on. Can Mr. Finlay make calls to international numbers on his phone? Explain your answer, okay? And then it says, how many days does he have to query this invoice? Okay, so can he make international calls? Let's just have a look here quickly. Um, it's not telling us anything over there. Da, 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 da. Conference call. Allow international dial dialing. So this package actually says, yep, he can make international dialing. He can phone. All right. So what is this whole thing? It's got a basic data and facts. Uh, it's, you're getting a telephone, you've got calling line identity, you've got SMSs, you can make conference calling, uh, you can switch data, add data, you can allow international dialing. That's a fantastic little package and it does include international dialing. Okay, and then the other question, which I've already forgotten because I'm old and I can't remember things, was how many days does he have to query his invoice. Okay, so let's just have a look at some dates here. Um, invoice date, invoice number, okay, how many days does he have? Does it explain it to us? Um, all right, I actually think the information on this has been taken off. In fact, it has because it would always come in here and it would tell us what time by when we've got to pay it and how it affects us. Okay, so we've done quite a bit. We've looked at different phones and let's just sum up the lesson for today. So summary, in this segment we've covered the following. We've looked at how to interpret and read information off a cell phone bill. Remember folk, someone is paying for that cell phone. Okay, so many times I ask my students, how much do you pay for your cell phone every month? They say, I don't know, my mom and dad pay it. Be aware, it costs money. You use your cell phone wisely. All right, we're taking that break and we'll be back with you shortly thereafter. Chat soon.